Hi guys, today we've got a cool tutorial on outline morphing using keyframe animation. I'm working in ToonSquid on the iPad and using some pre-drawn icons. Ready? Let's go. I've sketched out these shapes in advance, a satellite and a satellite dish. I made them as vector shapes, but that's not critical. You can even use raster images since we'll be redrawing them anyway. My tip, choose icons that have a similar number of lines and shapes so the morphing looks smooth and effective. In the settings, I have the resolution set to 1080 and the frame rate to 12 frames per second. Let's place the icons one under the other and apply transparency to the lower icon. It's also important to match their sizes so they look roughly the same. I'll stretch both icons to 24 frames on the timeline. Now let's create a new layer. At this point, we need to decide which parts of each figure will morph into one another. I see that the first icon has two stripes at the bottom and two on the wing. The top stripes of the second wing can morph into the signal waves. The circle can simply shift position, the two central shapes can merge into the circle, and the lower wing can become a stand. These are just the base ideas for now. Let's start with the top wing stripes. Select the Path tool and begin outlining the first stripe. You can adjust the thickness in the settings. Next, we continue the vector path so that it transitions into the second shape, maybe using a loop or another shape that works for your icons. Mine turned out like this, but these shapes can easily be adjusted later. I draw the second line right away, also as a loop, and I do this on the same layer to keep things grouped. Ideally, the path should stay smooth and even throughout. Now for the fun part, open the timeline and stretch the shape across the full width. Select the first shape and find the trim section at the bottom. In the keyframe settings under the layer, locate start and end. Place keyframes on the first frame, then reduce the end value until the shape looks like the one in the first icon. On the next frame, pull the value back a bit. This gives us a bounce effect. Next, go to frame 8. Set end to 100% and reduce the start value slightly. Then on the next frame, place the final value. Now select all the keyframes and apply quadratic easing. Preview the animation. It looks a bit fast, so let's move the last keyframes to around frame 11 or 12. OK. Let's do the same with the second stripe. First, set end, then bounce on the next frame, another bounce on frame 11, and the final shape. Don't forget to apply quadratic easing. Let's temporarily hide the background layers and preview it. I think it looks awesome. You can tweak the shapes a bit if needed. As you've probably guessed, we'll repeat this process for all the shapes. Let's create a new layer and move on to the stripes on the bottom wing. First, draw the lower one, also using a loop.
then draw the second, maybe with a bit more twist. Stretch the shape across the timeline. Start and end. Make the bounce. One more bounce at frame 11. And then the final pose. Repeat for the second shape. Preview it again without the background. I really like it. Do you? Moving on. Next up is the wing, which will morph into a stand. Start drawing from the correct side to create a clean path. Great. Now just like before, adjust the trim over 4 frames and apply quadratic easing. I also move the whole set of keyframes forward a bit to create a bit of chaos. Time for a preview. Looks gorgeous. Next, let's do the upper wing. I'll transform it into the antenna stripe. On a new layer, I draw the shape. Beautiful. Now, as usual, stretch the timeline. Add four keyframes and apply quadratic easing. Again, I shift all the keyframes forward. In the preview, the last bounce looks a bit too sharp. Let's adjust that. Now let's animate the circle. Select the path tool again, choose the circle shape, place it where it needs to go, Pick a fill and adjust the stroke. Stretch it across the timeline, then open keyframe settings. Place a keyframe on frame 1. On frame 11, move the circle to its final position. In the middle, shift it sideways to create a loop. Add another control point and round the corners by clicking the point and curving it. Finally, add a small bounce in the direction of the movement. Preview it. Looks great, but I want to tweak the antenna a bit. Next up is the main shape animation. Draw the new figure on a separate layer. Oops, need to adjust the thickness. Now morph it into a semicircle. And like before, add the keyframes and trim settings. This one also needs a bit of shape adjustment.
And now we're down to morphing the final circle. Draw the path as a loop. Add keyframes. Here I ran into a problem. The lines intersect and create visual noise. So I decided to redraw the central shape with the loop on the opposite side. The last step is to clean up the final shape. And this is the animation I ended up with. You can also duplicate and reverse it to make a seamless loop. So, what do you think of today's lesson? Was it helpful? Did you like the result? Feel free to leave your suggestions for future videos in the comments. If you want to support my channel, you can always like or leave a comment. There's also the option to send a super thanks or get a paid subscription. Details are in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.